Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining in yet another video. And uh, today we will be looking at the blessings of a debilitated Mars and how or how a debilitated Mars brings a lot of, you know, goodies in life. Okay. So uh, debilitation is when a planet reaches its lowest point. Okay. And for debilitation, uh, Mars gets debilitated in the Nakshatra of Aslesha, which of course is in the sign of Cancer. Okay, so every time Mars goes into Cancer, it is regarded to be debilitated. Okay, now what happens is when this, uh, when a debilitated planet occurs in the chart, okay, remember we are only speaking about the D1 chart, don't apply this to any other chart. Okay, this is not applicable to D9 or any other chart, we're just looking at D1. So whenever a planet gets debilitated in D1, it means that the person is going to be born without certain nysarchic or natural qualities of that planet. Okay. Say Mars is the planet of courage. So, you know, the person has to work on his or her courage factor, you know, building up courage as they grow up from a child to a youngster and then they proceed accordingly. Okay. So, this is just an example. But then, as I said, uh, debilitated planet, debil debilitated Mars, especially, it brings a lot of good luck, okay? So, when you have debilitated Mars, the first thing you notice is that these people are going to get very, very lucky, okay? There is some in invisible force acting behind these people, and that force is always going to place them at the right spot at the right time, okay? So, being at the right spot at the right time is very important in life, and that actually defines how lucky you are. So, a debilitated Mars can actually make you have that quality okay the other thing that you must look for or the other things that is seen in people having debilitated mars is that they have a lot of property okay mars is, mars is the bhumi karak okay mars is the bhumi karak and uh, you know the sign of cancer if you look at it the position of the sign of cancer if you analyze it by the principle of bhavad bhavam you will see that cancer is Port from Aries and ninth from Scorpio. So, you know, for Mars, it becomes a very auspicious sign, even it is debilitated. And plus, Cancer is ruled by the moon, which is actually friends with Mars. Okay, so these people, they have a lot of property, although they may face some property issues in their life till the age of 36. Okay, so thirdly, a debilitated Mars can also bring, make you lucky in terms of conjugal matters. Okay, these people are very, very passionate about what they do. And uh, by being passionate, they attract people who are equally passionate as them as their life partners. Okay. So, you know, you'll see a lot of sportsmen. Remember, Mars is a very important planet when it comes to playing sports. So, you'll see a lot of sportsmen having a debilitated Mars, but doing very good in their field. You know, one classic example of that would be Serena Williams. So, she is, she has been a very consistent tennis player over the last many, many decades. So she has a debilitated Mars. But again, debilitation is not a sign of weakness. It just means that you have to, as you grow up, you have to develop certain qualities within yourself. Okay. So in the upcoming videos, I'll be discussing, you know, the benefits provided by debilitated planets. We've started with Mars, of course. And uh, hopefully in the next videos, we'll be looking at the benefits provided by the other debilitated planets. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the content, and please share this video with your friends and family if you think it is useful for you. Namaste. I'll see you soon. Om Gura Venamaha.